Hey people, it's Warren here again with Copeland Small Engine Repair. Uh, today I'm going to be talking about a carburetor. Uh, this is a Nikki carburetor on a big V-twin Briggs & Stratton engine. Uh, and it's the one with the bowl on it that looks like this. It's an older one. It's got this white plastic emulsion tube. And when you take these things apart, it has two brass jets in this tube. There's one jet. There's the other. And when you put this thing back together, these jets are different sizes. The outside diameter and everything about them is identical, but the tiny hole that goes through the center of them is a little bit different. Uh, one is a little bit larger than the other. Uh, usually when I take these things apart, uh, if you flip this carburetor over, it actually says L and R on the top of the carburetor for left and right. Uh, so what I'll do when I put it back together, if I flip it back over, I'll take a mark slot and just put a mark on the right-hand side, or I'll just make sure the right-hand side is on my right. Uh, it's just an easy way to do it. And when you need to put these jets back in, usually if I don't mess up and mix the jets up, I will take them out one at a time, and I'll put one way over on the left side of the table, and I'll put one way over on the right side of the table, and I'll leave them there until I put them back together. But if I you know, make a mistake and get them mixed up, here's how I tell them apart. Some people say you can look through these and tell the difference if you hold them next to each other and look, you know, look through the center of them. I can't, I can't tell. So what I do, I take a tiny drill bit. I just go through my little tiny drill bit drawer and I find a little drill bit that will barely fit through one of these, but won't fit through the other one. See, it fits through this one, but this tiny drill bit will not go through this other one. So I know this jet is larger than this one. Well, the large jet goes on the right and the small jet goes on the left. And that's left and right according to the left and right uh, letters stamped into the carburetor right here. Uh, then I turn it over and I make sure the right is on my right and left is on the left. Sometimes I'll just put a mark on the right. Uh, you just want to make sure you know this is the right side of the carburetor when you're done. And the large one, the large jet goes on the right, and the small jet goes on the left. Uh, that's all I'm doing for you today. i got to get this thing back together. I'll holler at you later.